Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra problem? Solution from here, from what we have, which is x times square root of x times square root of x equals to 5. From here, let's square both sides. From what we have, we square this side and also we square this side. Then the square here will affect x, so we have x square, then times also square root of x root x squared as well, which is equal to 5 square here, that's 5 times 5, which is 25. And here we have square cancel square root here, then this gives us x square times x then times root x equals to 25 on this side that is from here this is x raised to power 1 when we have a raised to power m times a raised to power n the same thing as a raised to power m plus n from here we can have this power together then we have x raised to power 3 times root x equals to 25 from here. The next step as well, we square both sides from here, also square this side. Then the square here will affect x raised to power 3, so x raised to power 3 squared, then times root x squared then equals to 25 squared that is from here we have this power multiplies from where we have a raised to power m raised to power n is same thing as a raised to power m n that is we have 2 times 3 here that's x raised to power 6 then times square cancel square root here, we have x then equals to 25 square from here. Also, this is x raised to power 1. Then when we had the power, this gives us x raised to power 7 equals to 25 squared. That is from what we have here. We can multiply both power by 1 over 7. So we have x raised to power 7 raised to power 1 over 7. Then equals to here. Yeah, we can still make this as 25 square raised to power 1 over 7. That is raised both power to 1 over 7. Here, yeah, this cancel out. We have x equals to 25 raised to power here this power multiplies we have 2 over 7 and then from here we can write the answer in base 5 and say this is x equals to 25 is 5 square then raised to power 2 over 7 which implies we have x equals to this power multiplies and we have 5 raised to power 4 over 7 then let's check from what we have here if this satisfies the given problem we have x root x then root x equals to 5 then when we substitute the value of x here which is 5 raised to power 4 over 7 this becomes 5 raised to power 4 over 7 times square root of 5 raised to power 4 over 7 then inside that square root of 5 raised to power 4 over 7 will this be equal to 5 from here then from where we have root a we can write this as a raised to power half that is let's work from inside here we can write this and this becomes 
5 raised to the power 4 over 7 multiplied by square root of 5 raised to the power 4 over 7 then times 5 raised to the power 4 over 7 raised to the power half from here then what we have here since this power multiplied 2 year 1 to year 2 that is we have 5 raised to the power 4 over 7 multiplied by square root of 5 raised to the power 4 over 7 times 5 raised to the power 2 over 7 here then we have seen this we can have this power then we have 5 raised to the power 4 over 7 multiplied by square root of 5 raised to the power 6 over 7 here then also we can change this square root to raised to the power half and we have 5 raised to the power 4 over 7 times 5 raised to the power 6 over 7 raised to the power half from here then from here is this equals to 5 on this side then this power also multiply we have 2 year 1 2 year 3 and we have 5 raised to the power 4 over 7 times 5 raised to the power 3 over 7 is it equals to 5 and also here we have seen this we can have the power and we have 5 raised to the power 7 over 7 here and is it equals to 5 from here and 7 over 7 that's 1 so 5 raised to the power 1 is equals to 5 5 raised to the power 1 that's 5 which is equals to 5 left hand side equals to right hand side and next we can conclude that x equals to 5 raised to the power 4 over 7 satisfy the given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up see you next class and bye for now